Our next skater is Yukari Nakano. And as you could maybe tell, she is from Japan. The 21-year-old had a lot of success internationally as a junior skater, but for a while was left behind as a new crop of skaters took her place. Well, she fought back last year with a fifth place finish at the World Championships. And much of that success that she had earlier was due to the success of one jump, and that was the triple axel. Very few women in the world have ever landed a triple axel. She has one scheduled here, but hasn't landed it yet this season. And she goes for it, and she's very close. She's going to get full credit for rotating it, Barb. She was all the way around on the right landing edge and then simply had to sit down. But it was a very admirable attempt. Triple Lutz combination. Triple Lutz double toe. She admitted to being pretty nervous last night. Currently sits in seventh position. though because of all the attention that her teammates are getting, Mawasada and Mickey Ando, it's sort of taken a little bit of the pressure off of her. Very nice triple flip jump. Triple sow cow. Very nice degree of energy throughout this program. Good speed, excellent confidence being showed out there. Difficulty on that flying sit spin. Remember, every element in the program, there are 13 elements, every element is given a score. She will lose points on that spin. Certainly having no difficulties with the jumps here today. Beautiful smile as she moves into her spiral sequence, the second last element of this performance. Even though Malasad and Mickey Ando get most of the attention here from the Japanese media, there's plenty of it to go around here in Japan for Yukari Nakano. She was fifth at the last World Championships and seventh after this short program, Japan's Yukari Nakano. We'll have her scores in just a moment when we return. <laughs> Thank you. 
We're back here in Tokyo where Nakano rode the wave of this audience as she attempted this triple axel. Watch, it's fully, almost fully rotated, but she can't check the landing and down she goes. Remember, the judges will have instant replay here. They'll be able to look at that. Now that we see it up close there, you can see that she still had rotation to complete when she landed. They'll likely downgrade it. The free skate is worth approximately 65% of a skater's mark. The technical element score looks at just how well the elements in the program are executed, then the program component score is based on everything from choreography to their interpretation of the music. We're waiting now for the scores for Japan, Jukari Nakano. She has a personal best score in the free program of around 111 points. Her technical element score around 55, and her program component score is about the same. So that will be the second best free skate so far and move Yukari Nakano into first place. So with the final flight of skaters still to come, Nikari Nakano of Japan is in first place, Sarah Meyer is in second place, Susanna Fukuyu in third, and Joanny Rochette of Canada sitting in the number four position. When we come back to Tokyo, we'll take you back to yesterday's ice dance competition and to Bray and Lazan's quest for a world title.